if you haven't noticed, the IRS has changed one part of the 1040 form where they're asking about digital assets, asking did you have it as opposed to last year or previous years where they were talking about general currencies. The question in particular is at any time during 2022, did A, receive as reward, award or payment for property or services or B, sell, exchange, gift or otherwise dispose of a digital asset or financial interest in a digital asset? That's the question that, that's on the tax return. Previously, they were asking about uh, virtual currencies, and pretty much what they're talking about any kind of uh, digi digital electronic currency, that being your NFTs, cryptocurrency, things like that. Basically, a digital assets we're looking at being a digital representation of value, which is recorded on a cryptographically secured distributed ledger. Common digital assets, again, like I mentioned before, virtual currency, cryptocurrency, uh, stable coins, or non-fungible uh, tokens, or basically NFTs. Pretty much everyone has to answer that question, okay? It's ask, uh, especially using any kind of uh, tax preparation software that asks you that question, did you uh, did you uh, have that or not? Here's the thing about it, and what I'm asking again, did you get rid, uh, uh, get rid of it? The question is, when would you ask, when would you check uh, yes on that? You would check that if you received a digital asset for payment, transferred regarding payment, disposed of any kind of digital asset, or sold any kind of digital asset, okay? That's again, if you received it for any kind of payment, transferred it for, for payment, uh, disposed of it, uh, digital asset in exchange for property or services, or sold a digital asset, okay? That's when you report it, okay? Uh, how you gonna report it? Just like you would do any other kind of um, basic assets, use your Schedule D. You can also look at Mr. Short Dollar. I did a video in regards to how to fill out the schedule form, IRS form Schedule D, where you talk about capital gains, uh, using the form 8949, and also the schedule, uh, schedule D. So maybe you check out that video as well. Uh, when do you want to check? No, that you didn't receive any kind of digital asset is when you're just holding the digital asset and you uh, holding the digital asset in your virtual wallet, transferring the digital asset from uh, one wallet to another wallet that you own yourself, or if you're purchasing one. Okay, so pretty much any time that you, the base wants you to report it, if you are in the process of anything with for selling or receiving, kind of like in quote, being income for any kind of service or product that you have, uh, that's when they want you to report it, okay? Guys, again, I just want to give you guys that quick update because, again, in previous years, it had been a virtual currency, but now they're saying digital assets. So be on the lookout for that on your tax return. Just want to give you guys that quick tax tip. Take care of yourself and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar. Best of luck, guys, and take care.